Ladies and gentlemen, good grape variety are not good enough for Americans. You Americans deserve only excellence. In the time when nobody thought it was possible to grow vinifera, Constantine proved them wrong. This is my duty as scientist, and this is my duty as American patriot. At the age of 63, most Americans would be thinking of retirement at that age, and he was building a winery from the ground up. He was a PhD in viticulture, and he pioneered the introduction of the European wine grapes to this region. Most of us are doubters in life, and it takes a few believers, uh, like a Henry Ford, and I don't want to compare my father with the Henry Ford, but he pulled something off that people thought was not possible. He never really viewed the winery as a business venture. He viewed it as an experimental station and wanted to prove to the world that we could grow the classic vinifera European grapes. I have introduced these grapes here from Europe, only excellent, from Germany, Riesling and Gewürztraminer, from French, Pinot Gris, Pinot Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Cabernet Sauvignon, from Russia, Rkacitelli, Saperavi. Visitors have told me wonderful stories over the years and it's very rewarding to now see sometimes second and third generations of families that perhaps father or grandfather met my grandfather and so it's wonderful to, to see that sort of loyalty. And I think he'd be really pleased with the place that we're at right now and it's a very exciting time. And it took a lot of hard work to get there, a lot of dedication. I think that's what makes Dr. Frank's winery special, is the fact that we've got four generations of family ownership. We have the luxury of dedicating ourselves as quality as our main goal. And we realize that, you know, in the wine business over the long term, quality is really critical. These wines are vigorous, are excellent. And this is future for America.